Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav training series. In this series of videos, we are discussing about cloud application programming model with MongoDB. By far, we have scheduled and set up a database as a service in cloud using Mongo Atlas. We've created a CAPAM application which supports insert and get request. And now in this episode, we will see how to update and delete data. We will see how to fire a put request and a patch request as well as the delete request on our REST endpoint and eventually update the data in Mongo database. So let's get started with our existing project which we have created. So now we are going to implement the update request handler and delete request handler one by one. So first we start with update request handler on customer data. I will switch over to my development environment VS code and we add here a update customer function. Remember all the functions are asynchronous function. And let me also grab the code and add the asynchronous function for update. Now since I'm copying the code, there is a little bit of extra white extra characters which I would like to get rid of. Yes, uh, please check the description of the video for this presentation which I'm showing you all. You can also utilize the same to build your uh, build your content. So now we can see this is the code which is going to do the update. Let me go through that. So first we as usual connect to Mongo database. We get the database connection and also the table name the collection. Then we check the input request data. Take the ID from that data because we want to fire a put request based on ID and then we remove the ID from payload and finally set the data without changing the ID. We pass the ID here to update the data and we set the remaining data over here. We are updating one record by primary key. Then once the modification is done, we get the status and then finally we will return the data back which has been updated. So this is our flow for updating our data. So let's go ahead and execute our app now. So as usual, we run CDS run command and they should start our middleware and you can see it has been started i will switch over back and first to a get request to get some data and maybe i would like to update this data for shiva so let me pick up shiva record copy that switch over back to my tool called postman and here we're going to fire a put request with updated data in the json format Okay, maybe I will first do a get request only. And let's do a get and then we're going to pick up a record for updating. For example, Shiva. I just grab this record and I will fire a put request on Shiva. So I'm going to take this ID here and then I'm going to make a put request. And then we will just do a ID here to put the data with a customer entity and you can see I'm passing the property. So let me change Shiva to Harun and we will change the value as Harun Muhammad. And now what I will do is just uh, trigger uh, maybe change in country UAE and I say Emirates. and let's click on execute so we fire this put request and we can also just check using our robo 3d the data into the mongo so i'm going to go find the record based on id and we pass the id so current value we should see as uh, shiva and the moment I trigger a post request on my database, you see it's done. Let's go back and check again on database. And now we should see Harun. So the name of the employee has been changed along with country and company name. So next step is I would like to implement delete request to delete an employee. So let me create a new employee with a post request for let's say Bilal. And I'll say Bilal Ahmed. 
I will fire a post request. Yes, it should be done on an entity, not by key. Yes, so that is what we should do by removing the ID. So you can see the record has been created. Similarly, let me add a couple of more records. Let's say Sabina, and I can say Sabina S, and I trigger this. Let me also add Shabana. And I'll send and I'll say Roxana. And I can trigger. So this is my data. And now let's suppose I want to delete a record. So you will be able to get this data over here when you do get. You can see we've got new records. And if I would like to delete this record, let's say Sabana, I can do that. So let's go ahead and implement our request for delete now. So I can come down and we will add a another handler for delete from our PPT. And then let's implement the delete function. So as usual, we are now going to trigger a delete over here. And on this deletion, basically the data will be uh, will be deleted. So very simple. You just connect to the database, uh, get the collection object. Uh, request the data, check the ID of the of the record which needs to be deleted, and then just trigger the the delete request. That's all. So let's test this. So I'm going to run this again, and now we can just go back to Postman, and we will trigger a delete request, and then here we are going to pass the customer ID. You can see currently the value is coming, Sabina. I can copy this request for the single customer and fire a delete. So it's done. And if I just do a get again, boom, it's no more found. So that is how exactly we can implement the update and delete. So I hope you enjoyed this video on performing delete and update request on OData service. If you're enjoying this series of videos with Capam on MongoDB, please like, share, and subscribe this channel. And if you would subscribe this channel, we will also give you a complimentary video of how to deploy this app on Amazon AWS. Yes. So if you want me to create a video on how to deploy our application on Amazon AWS account, yes, free account, yes, then please subscribe our channel and I will see you in my next session. Thank you so much. Goodbye.